What, what's the latest in regards to these acts of anti-Semitism? Is it something that's concerning the leadership in the UK, uh, that these attacks are, are becoming more frequent and more common? There have been uh, several incidents of anti-Semitism. In fact, uh, the increase in reporting of those incidents has been enormous to a body called the CST, the Community Security Trust. That's a Jewish organization which monitors anti-Semitism. And uh, when there are violent or non-violent incidences, they also try and assist the people who, who have been the victims. Uh, now, they say that there's been a massive spike in reporting of such incidents. And then there have also been, thanks to social media, videos as well making the rounds, including that one that's now been seen the world over of a convoy of cars with Palestinian flags uh, with people with megaphones shouting F the Jews and rape their daughters. Uh, so obviously this has put many people in the Jewish community very much on edge, uh, quite a lot of people afraid. And on days like today, there have been messages going around in advance and during the day itself uh, between people's phones, WhatsApps and text messages telling them to stay at home, stay safe. There have been attacks reported on people's mezuzot on their doors uh, of Jewish homes. There's been a small protest outside the Israeli ambassador's house as well. Uh, and there have been swastikas on Israeli flags, anti-Semitic signs held aloft. And there's very much a direct link to these protests that you're seeing taking place in relation to the Israeli operation in the Gaza Strip. Uh, it's not something that's unusual. Britain has often seen these sorts of things happen during times of tension in Israel and Gaza.